Okay, hello everyone. My name is Laquan Williams, and in this video, I want to discuss the topic of episode one of uh, the Loki uh, season one ep show that came on last night on uh, Disney Plus. So basically, this is the first episode of Loki show, the first season, and basically what happened was is um, he was able to apprehend uh, the um, Tesseract from the Avengers, but this was obviously something that took place in the events of actually what happened after the first Avengers movie. So basically what happened was, obviously, in Avengers Endgame, the Avengers went back in time to 2012 to apprehend, obviously, the Tesseract and obviously trying to get their hands on Infinity Stones to make sure that they could stop um, Thanos in the future. So they had to go back to the past in order to stop what's happening in the future from taking place. But unfortunately, by doing that, they helped Loki of 2012 from the first Avengers movie escape their custody when he was being handed off to the, um, I think it wasn't uh, Asgard, uh, guard, it was... Um, I think it was the FBI, if I'm not mistaken, or some type of government agency. But anyways, that's what happened. He was able to escape, take the Tesseract, and go back to um, another timeline. But basically, he ended up still in, um, uh, he's still stuck in 2012, but he ended up in Mongolia. It was a big, huge, uh, kind of like desert type of um, environment. He thought he was by himself. Basically, it started off like that. When he saw some local um, citizens, he talked to them. He couldn't understand them because they spoke a different language. And then the time variance agents, they're basically the ones who are in charge of the um, of uh, keeping the timeline, uh, obviously uh, structured together. As far as the second person, the second um, people um, as the, being the authority figures, they work for the timekeepers. They're like the big, huge um, creator slash godly like world worldly figures who have created obviously the timeline structure to keep it intact. And they make sure anything, anybody who obviously is in charge of screwing that up, obviously is arrested or reset it and taken out out of the um the the timeline that they screwed up and put in a different um one as far as being arrested or obviously um being um obviously killed. So they call everybody who is a a villain like low key who messes up the timelines variants. So basically, the time variants uh variant um agency are the muscle they're the agents slash guys in suits like the star troopers or the police or the fbi they go after and apprehend the bad guys and obviously capture them and arrest them they work for the, obviously the timekeepers who are the, the the authority figures over them so they're like like i said they're the higher they're the muscle they're the police op department basically it's a big huge place and it's like looks like something obviously out of blade runner how they have the uh, whole entire setup there with cars flying around and whatnot in a big, huge, like, oasis type of, um, I would say, um, utopia of, uh, of a place. And it was uh, very interesting. Loki was trying to eventually escape with the Tesseract. And they also had um, Infinity Stones just magically lying around in one of their offices where their evidence locker lockup is. But he was not able to escape. Apparently, any magic that they don't d deem unnecessary or evil or anything that they don't can't control is not um, allowed to work there so even the low key couldn't use the tesseract or any infinity infinity stones to escape and you know obviously the infinity stones are very powerful obviously and so is the tesseract so you know that's obviously very interesting to see that they're able to block that type of powerful powerful magic to work so he was not able to escape even though he was able to take the um, shock slash um, dog like collar he had on his neck that they were able to control him and move him around with and he couldn't escape. So he learned that um, agent by Agent Mobius, played by Owen Wilson, the actor, that he's going to be, when they arrested him, that he's that he's going to be able to uh, work off his um, sentence of a lifetime for crimes against humanity and, and, time, and, and time and space itself in the timelines, multiple ones, by um, helping them apprehend criminals. But obviously, what I thought was going to take place but that's not what happened they let him know that they brought him in to apprehend a criminal which obviously is himself so loki has different variations of himself from the past and the future that uh, obviously he has transformed to in order to trick people as he is thor's um uh, half brother and obviously the god of trickery and mischief obviously he's a trickster so that, this is what we see right here on digitalspy.com these are the different variations of Loki that might end up on the show this one is going to be definitely ending up on the show as we can see with pictures below um, this is Lady Loki where Loki transforms himself into a woman in order to trick people 
there's pictures of uh, the uh, woman playing Loki, and obviously here Sophia D. Martino, and obviously Tom Hiddleston here wearing the same costume. So there's gonna be different versions of him. One where he is obviously a woman. This is gonna be on the show. This is on the show as well. President Loki, where he's like the president of the universe and time and space itself and the world. Kid Loki, which was actually what we saw in the first episode last night. Um, on uh, excuse me, on on Wednesday, uh, where um. Uh, Owen Wilson obviously was able to um, talk to this kid and tell him about what happened, who attacked the place. Little did we know that this is actually Loki himself, obviously. So he was able to transform himself to a kid. The kid didn't speak at all. And then obviously they left. The, this was like in like 1858 or something where they found out that their agents are, were obviously attacked and killed because they're trying to find lo this version of Loki who's going out, going around through different timelines of the past committing crimes and whatnot and don't know, we don't know what he's stealing apparently but he's killing off their time variance agents and they they he's done this about four times now and they need to stop him so that's why they brought in a low key to catch himself basically like catch me if you can similar to that movie which took place which obviously is real life and took place around real life events where a common white collar criminal who was finally caught eventually by the fbi was brought in to take down other criminals like himself in order to have a reduced sentence they gave him a deal catch these other criminals you work for us we reduce your sentence and he eventually worked it off obviously and he gave him a deal and he eventually became a uh, fbi agent who helped him take uh, uh based off of um catching criminals and taking them down and working in that department obviously and this is a, another version of loki it's called young adventure loki so that's basically all the versions of him so it's similar to that but instead of loki catching other criminals he's catching himself Yes, he, he, he was brought in to catch himself. 2012, um, this is the 2012 Loki. He was not able to, to know what happens in the future, but he saw his past. He saw his future played out in um, video clips on a, um, a movie reel. And he was able to see, obviously, everything that happened to him in the past with the c crimes he committed, him finding the Avengers, the attack in New York City. Then, obviously, he was also able to see what happens in the future when he um, uh, betrays his mom and obviously his half-brother Thor, and has his mom being killed by the Dark Elves as they um, enter Asgard and um, obviously um, break in. He helps them get in and thought everything was going to go well, and he ended up being the cause of his mother's death. Another uh, situation that happened was, uh, obviously, um, uh, Loki was able was able to see what happened in Avengers Endgame, where he was obviously... Uh, um, the, killed by um thanos in the first couple of minutes of the movie he saw him, thanos choking and killing him he was very upset about that so he's very um hell-bent on trying to fix his future and past because he does not want that to happen he is one he wants to prevent that and he also wants to make sure that he can um go back into the past and obtain his power obviously but he was told by them the time variance authority that he can't go back to 2012 so he would have probably have to end up going to another timeline or some some type of uh I don't, um, um, I would say maybe a variation of maybe, um, him going to a, an alternate world where he could obviously exist. So we'll see what happens with that. Everybody who was captured on the show, like low key, the criminals are all called variants. And the variants are the criminals that they apprehend. They're the ones that specifically screw up the timelines. So the time variance authority apprehend people like them take them out of the, the current timeline that they screwed up and the one that they obviously are are have destroyed um reset it reset the people take them out and possibly kill, and not kill them or they keep them arrested and locked up forever they also make sure that they um reset the timelines and obviously fix them as well that's what we see so basically what happens is, what's happening is Loki is given a second chance to kind of fix his um past and um rewrite his future and obtain, uh, well, right his wrongs. He doesn't have to, but obviously he's choosing to do this because he doesn't want to stay locked up and chained and obviously as a prisoner forever. So he's saying, I'll work with you guys to apprehend myself from another timeline. But obviously he's still working with constraints. That's what's going to be happening on the show because he works for them so he can't get out of line or they'll throw him back in jail, obviously, or put him back in custody locked up with um the shackles and obviously on his feet and hands and obviously because of him being stuck in that place without any magic being used he can't use this magic to escape 
He tried to, like I said, the Tesseract didn't work. He tried to use Infinity Stones that they had lying around. That didn't work. So they have a big, huge force field blocking magic from them. You got a whole entire facility slash colony. So you can't use any magic there unless it's like approved by them specifically so that's basically what happened but it was very entertaining like i said tom hiddleston playing loki even though he's obviously the bad guy he is as the god of trickery and mischief being the trickster that he is he's still very funny we know that's what he obviously is different how he's different than a lot of the characters and villains and comic book lore he's obviously the bad guy but yeah he brings a comedic um he's a comedic genius and he brings a, a different um obviously um i would say a different um take on obviously the world he was obviously in regret uh in, um, he was he obviously regretted obviously what he did to his mother obviously that seemed to be the, the thing that hurt him obviously the most leading to her death and betraying her that obviously was something that seemed to hurt him the most and he was guilty about that so he was obviously not very excited he wants to make sure that he can fix this um future and past obviously by um trying to take down a different version of himself, which we don't know how many of them are, will appear on the show. But, but well, besides, obviously, um, Lady Loki and President Loki, we don't know who, what else, other, and the, obviously the kid version, but I um, uh, couldn't see him, I don't see the kid version of Loki kind of running around doing anything, basically. But we'll see what happens on the show. It, it was very interesting to see um, that uh, take place um i don't know if there are going to be any other avengers that end up on the show if, for, with cameos who knows what will happen i'm not sure um so far the only people i know on the show besides obviously the tom hilston is owen wilson so this isn't i don't know what we'll see what happens if there are any other actors on the show that i, I know or that people know obviously because they do have you know on specific shows or certain times new actors that they're trying to obviously um push and whatnot so we'll see uh obviously with when it comes to these um you know uh tv shows obviously the superhero is one now where you bring in different characters you've never heard of or obviously actors who are playing uh characters from different timelines and earths and realms that we don't know about but the show was very entertaining and fun it was nice to see obviously loki back because obviously any other future avengers movies or marvel movies that we have coming out it's not looking like he's going to be in any of them. So I don't even know if he's going to be in the next Thor movie, honestly. But we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. You never know what can happen, obviously. Um, they they can't give out everything, obviously, before a movie comes out. And they're not going to. So he could be in Thor Love and Thunder, which is set to come out soon. Which is the fourth Thor movie. I heard they were going to possibly make a fifth one. I don't know if that's going to take place. But he could be in that one as well. Or if he's not in the fourth one. The fourth Thor movie he could be in the fifth one. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But um, it was very interesting to see the show. Um, this show last night, a couple of days on uh, Wednesday, like yesterday. The show's been fun. Well, actually, I watched it on Thursday. It came out on Wednesday. It was very entertaining. Obviously, um, it's fun. We'll see what happens. Obviously, um, with with the rest of the show as it as it progresses and whatnot, and how it takes place, and eventually, hopefully, I don't know if if this could happen. Possibly, maybe in the second season of a Captain America and Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier, now that Sam Wilson is um, Captain America, if he, low key will end up on that show in some type of way, or they'll be, end up on his show. It's possible with a crossover, I don't know, but we'll see what happens, obviously. Um, I'm not too sure about that. But that's all I have to say about this video and this um, episode re uh, review of Loki season one episode one last uh, that took place on Wednesday a couple days ago on June 9th. I watched it on Thursday yesterday. Um, I would say probably overall I give the episode probably um, not probably I give the episode about a seven and a half. It, it was good, but um, I thought that um, Loki um, was captured way too quickly and easily. Um, I would have liked to see him walking around talking to the locals in Mongolia, possibly for at least maybe five to, to ten minutes before he was apprehended. Because at the end of the episode, there was no end, end credit scene. So uh, there was about like five, six minutes of just um, straight credits rolling through. So that extra five or six minutes could be used to have him interact with some of those people. And possibly walk around the area and look at the lay of the land because as soon as he escaped from the Avengers with the Tesseract like three minutes later the time variance authorities the agents just popped out of nowhere out of a portal like type of door that they walk through just like on DC Legends of Tomorrow where they um, teleport from the ship to 
someplace on Earth, obviously on Earth or any other where they go, whether they're walking around on dry land or any other where, any other places, no matter where they are, uh, he was apprehended immediately. So there was no chance for him to walk around, obviously, and, and uh, just be f actually be free for a f for a few seconds, actually a minutes, and stretch his legs. He was captured immediately, and unfortunately, that's what happened. Um, I was actually surprised too. He didn't try to use his powers to get those people out of his way. Um, the agents, he just told them to step aside, and they basically, obviously, captured him. I would have liked it if he would have. There would have been like a little fight ensuing where they ended up did capture him after he got into a fight with them, but that didn't take place. So we'll see what happens. Though that was something that I didn't like. Um, we also didn't see the Loki, um, the version of Loki that. Um, obviously is going to be apprehended at the end of the episode the um the low key the other version of low key that they're trying to apprehend was in the all black cloak big long coat we didn't see the person's face and they burned all the agents that tried to capture um him i don't know if that's going to be if that's lady low key but they didn't show any fate any, any, any um close-ups of the person's face but it's possible it could be that um that version of low key where he is a woman aka lady low key but we didn't see that but th that's basically what happened they um they try to capture him in another different timeline and again he killed them so um this is kind of weird because they're saying well we can't capture him so we need you to come in so i think it's basically they can't because he's changing his form so in order for them to obviously apprehend them they need loki's help obviously because they know how he he knows how he thinks he knows what he's done in the past and he knows how he would escape so to catch a criminal you need a criminal to help like i said with catch him if you can and whatnot so that's basically what ha what's taking place it was very interesting to see but it was it was nice it was cool we'll see what happens as the rest of the show progresses um as far as this season two if that does take place hopefully it will um, and we'll see what happens, but that's all I have to say about this again in regards to the first episode of Loki's show, which is season one, episode one, and we'll see what obviously um, takes place, um, like I said, um, in the rest of the um, the show, but we'll see, like, obviously as it progresses. But yeah, that was the first week, week's episode, um, the first episode last yesterday, a couple days ago, and that's what's basically going on, uh, like I said before, and um, it ex it's explaining here on uh, in 2000. Uh, excuse me on the thrillist.com which is this low key is from the uh, the past is 2012 version of him who was able to escape so that's basically what happens obviously and he escapes and goes into the, another a different um, timeline that he doesn't know anything about it obviously is and it ends up being captured so that's basically what what's happening um, thank you for watching the show and that's all I have to say about this episode and we'll see what obviously happens um Obviously, as the show continues on and um, hopefully any crossovers take place, um, possibly in the future with, I don't know, um, Loki ended up on the Captain America and Bucky Barnes show or them ended up on his show or him possibly ended up on, um, uh, I would say probably a WandaVision maybe. I don't know. I don't, I haven't watched that show, but if the, he does end up, end up there somehow, I, I watched that episode. I was interested in the show. Um, I think they kind of uh, dragged that on for a while with the whole black and white type of um, TV ordeal and then being on a sitcom show within an actual, uh, I would say, show. They, they dragged it on. It looked pretty um, pretty boring, so I didn't watch it. But that's basically it. Um, thank you for watching my video, and that's all I have to say about Low Key Season 1, uh, Episode 1 review. And uh, like I said, I give the overall episode a 7.5. Thank you again for watching, and uh, let me know what you have to think about this episode and the show. If you have not watched it, let me know if you're actually going to watch it, and if you're not interested, and if you're kind of tapped out or burned out by the superhero Marvel uh, shows and also movies, and you're not interested in looking at what happens in Phase 4. Phase 4 of uh, the um, uh, Marvel, obviously, uh, Cinematic Universe, the MCU. Thank you for, again for watching. That's all I have to say about this. Uh, again, thank you. Bye.